Yes, Stuart, you may come in to my bedroom, into my, <laughs> into my boudoir. If you guys weren't already aware that Stuart is my BFF, my man Friday, uh, my buddy, and my photographer, you'll now, it'll now be clear to you he is not my husband. So I have invited him into my bedroom because I've got a really fun segment for you guys. Stuart thinks that's pretty funny. I've got a really fun segment for you today. Uh, this is going to be both a project, kind of a project throwdown, but also I went to the Goodwill store yesterday. I had a ton of stuff. I think I may have mentioned that I'm clearing out um, a lot of the stuff I don't want anymore from my bookshelves, from my cabinets, from my closets and drawers, and I'm taking tons of stuff to Goodwill. So I, I took a ton of stuff and I came home with a few things. I didn't really intend to go in there, but then I did. So I wanna show you some of the great clothing items and a couple of other things that I got there from yesterday. And one of them involves a project. So, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna postpone that till a little bit later. So my question of the day is, will you join me in this project? So just I'll reserve your response till a little bit later to see if you guys want to do this fun project with me at the same time Stuart's mom is going to be involved also. And it's kind of a fall thrifting project that I think will be a lot of fun. So let me start out by showing you the things that I got yesterday at Goodwill. Great scores in like five minutes or less. Okay, so I love this time of year. I've really been inspired by some of the stuff that I have seen on terrain, which is the gardening arm of anthropology. Nobody styles things like terrain does. I just love their, I, I love their site, I love their shop, I love their work. And this has very much of a terrain vibe to it, an earthy urn that I could use inside or out. Now here's the, here's the thing, you guys. I got this, look here. I got it for $4.99 and the price tag was still on it. It was $39.99, close to $40 at Hobby Lobby. It is still in pristine, collect, uh, pristine condition, doesn't even look like it's been used. It would look brilliant in here in my, in my bedroom somewhere. It would look great outside. You guys might give me some ideas on how to style it. I, it would also look great on a stand and have a real anthropological earthenware vibe to it so I love this piece perfect for fall. I also got this ceramic piece which I think looks so expensive too and together I think they make a wonderful composition. This was let's see this was $2.99 I don't know how much it was originally but it has very much of an artisanal quality to it and and almost uh, a Japanese quality to it so it would be very very striking I think with a simple leaf or a simple branch or something in it so these were my two scores I might also use these as gifts or something I'm not really sure what I'm going to do but I fell in love with both of these did I still equivocate about whether or not to get them yes because I equivocate about everything I bring into my house now that I'm trying to do a house redux and uh really reduce a lot of the stuff that I have, but I loved those. So those just may be, those may be gifts. I'm not sure what. I will, of course, keep you guys posted. And in the next few days, by the way, Stuart and I are going to try to really put a lot of images in the community tab. We have not been good about that lately. So if you are a YouTube member, I promise you we're going to catch up and I gave Stuart a bunch of great old photographs of what my garden looked like before. Um, there's some flashback photos that I think you guys will be interested in that he's going to scan and he'll put those in the community tab. Okay, so here's the other thing I got. I've really been in the 60s and 70s vibe uh, thing lately and look at these. Are these not great? I am channeling my inner share. I think these are so, so fun. Look at the wide legs on them. 
I just think it's, these are so, so fun. I could wear it with this top and a great big old sun hat. So yes, it's, it's a little bit past season for these. Um, but if I go to any beach place over the winter, which is probably not very likely, if not, I can save them for next year. But these were all of $5.49. And I just think they are so, so fun. So you guys give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on them. And a lot of times I, I don't try things on when I'm there. I'll just go ahead and buy them and bring them home and try them on at home. And most of the time they fit. Um, so I, I love these. I think these are really fun. Stuart, do you approve? Do these have kind of a 70s vibe to them? I can just see them with great big bangly fun earrings. Stuart's laughing at me. Okay, now some more almost seasonally appropriate things. Look at this great faux fur vest. So I'm always looking for things that I can wear um, in Colorado or when I go places that are cold. Isn't this a fun vest, Stuart? It zips up to the top and I'll put it outside. Oh, sorry, I, you can't, Stuart's going, no, okay, you covered up your mic. Sorry, guys. Um, anyhow, <laughs> Anyhow, I love this. I would like to know how you guys would style it. I think I would style it with some skinny jeans and tall boots, um, maybe a black turtleneck or something, but I would love to know how you guys would style it. This was so fun. And this is one of those kind of pieces, you guys, I could wear it a handful of times and I would get my value out of it. And I don't, I think this one was also probably about, oh, here we go. Let's see, oh, this was expensive. This was $11.49. I really went over the top on this one. But I think it's so much fun. Very distinctive. If I had gone out and tried to find something like this, I couldn't. I like anything that has a collar that stands up. Um, you know how I always flip up my collar, so I love this. I hope you guys like it too. Okay, this is also so fun. I would wear this with a starched white shirt with the collar popped up some skinny jeans, boots. I love the collar on it. This is has very much of a Salida Colorado vibe to it. And I would wear it with a great big fat leather belt. So do you like this, Stuart? I think this is some that my husband said, oh, that's so you, because I always, <laughs> I always show him my Goodwill finds. You know, some people go to expensive stores and show their husband their expensive stuff. I go to Goodwill and I show husband my deals. So I do love this. I think it would look great with a denim shirt underneath it, with a, with a starched white shirt underneath it. Let me know how you would style it, but I just, I really love this. There's no pilling on it. It's in great shape. Um, let me see what the brand is. I have no idea what this brand is. And let's see, this was a whopping $5.99. So that was a great deal. If only it had been red tag day, it was green tag day yesterday, or I would have gotten it off, I would have gotten it 50% off. Okay, this is the last thing that kind of relates to the project that we're gonna do. Okay, Stuart, here's a flashback. The tag in these is from Harold's. So those of you that are from Oklahoma, sorry Stuart, that are from Oklahoma will definitely recognize the Harold's name. Now I saw these and I swooned because I thought these were absolutely adorable. And I thought they would be cute on and I thought I could, I could squeeze into a size two and I could squeeze into them but they were a little too tight for me. And not only that, while it looks like the cut on them is, is kind of contemporary and fun, they really weren't a flattering fit. However, what I really loved was this pattern. I just fell in love with this pattern. So for, let's see how much were these, Stuart? Here we go. 549, I thought this is gonna make a brilliant project because I've been looking for fabrics for this, this fall project that I've wanted to do forever. And so you guys are gonna to wanna to know what this fall project is. Well, let me show it to you. So I have had this on my bulletin board forever. And where was this? I don't even remember what this, oh, this came out of the Sundance catalog. I love Sundance clothing. And I thought, oh my gosh, I could so make those jeans. 
by finding fabric, fabrics that I really liked and cutting them into swatches. And then I don't sew, I, I'm embarrassed to say that, but Stuart's mother does. So Stuart is gonna help with this project and maybe she'll make a pair for myself and for Julia. Would Julia like something? Julia's daughter who is, how old is Julia now? 19, I was gonna say 18, um, who's 19, I think she would like this too. What a fun project. Now, while I was there, I thought, should I take the time to find an old pair of Goodwill jeans to try this on, or should I shop my closet first? So I decided to shop my closet first to see if I had a pair of old baggy jeans that I wanted to do this on, and then I went into, I fell into a black hole. So for those of you who say, oh, I talk too much, it's because I'm th enthusiastic <laughs> about certain things. And I'm hoping that you guys might, might be able to channel this same joy in some way, because here's what I did. So you guys know that my younger son, Jamie, got married in Colorado just a little while ago. What, what you don't know, and had me kind of feeling a little bit glum last week, both happy and glum, is that my older son, Johnny, who lives in Singapore, he also got married last Friday. And it was in a civil ceremony that I only got to experience uh, via, you know, via digitally, virtually. Um, but we know his fiance, now wife, we absolutely adore her. And so I am a very proud mother-in-law to two daughter-in-laws now in very short order. They've been engaged for a while and they decided to go ahead and do a civil ceremony there and we'll have a big church wedding for them once uh, COVID permits. But I was feeling kind of glum. I was feeling really homesick for my oldest son. I haven't gotten to see him in a while other than virtually. So I went back into his old bedroom where he had a bunch of his clothing stored, which by the way, he will probably never wear again because now he lives in a tropical place. So he doesn't need a lot of these clothes and I'm culling things out anyway. So I thought I'm gonna shop Johnny's closet and it will make me miss him less if I'm wearing some of his clothing. So what I did was pull out a bunch of things that I might want to wear this fall. And I guess I should show you my first thing that I found were these perfect pair of old jeans, which I will cut off and probably fray. I love them because I can remember him wearing them. Now, my Johnny is extremely thin thin hipped. Uh, he's got, he was a swimmer and he's got kind of a swimmer's body that's shaped like a V. And he, like his mom, doesn't have much in the way of hips. So I can wear his clothing. These are a little bit big on me, but they're that perfect kind of boyfriend jeans bagginess that will be perfect for working in the garden. And so I'm going to cut these off and I'm going to use these for my project. Do you like that idea, Stuart? And then I'll think of him, not that I don't already think of him enough, but I'll think of him all of the time. And I want to see if you guys want to participate in this project too. You might have a more sophisticated vibe on yours than mine. Mine is going to be kind of loose and slouchy and kind of boho. You might want to do something that's a little bit more couture, a little bit more elevated. But I think this is such a fun project and a way to recycle old clothing and I am going to cut these pants up and use them for some of the patches on here along with some other fabric that I have and we'll get I don't know how many pairs of jeans out of it and with the remnants who knows maybe I'll do something else with it so I thought that would be a really really fun thing to do so as I'm shopping his closet I found a number of other things that I'm going to adopt in my fall wardrobe that is a twofer because I really like the clothing and because they remind me of him and he won't mind because he lives in the tropics and I shouldn't be storing he's an adult now I shouldn't be storing all of his stuff at home anyway so I've got this great where does this come from oh this is a, ban a banana republic kind of a sweatshirt that I just love and yes it fits me so I'm going to wash it and try to shrink it just a little bit and press it and it's got a real varsity vibe to it I think I think that will be fun with a white pop-up collar shirt underneath it so I'm going to do that I found this great gap 
khaki jacket, which also, all of these were just kind of thrown in there. But this will be so fun, I think, for wearing out in the garden, don't you, Stuart? With a great hat, I will press it. This one fits perfectly. I really, really like it. Hubs and I do a lot of camping and hiking and stuff in the fall, so this will be a perfect lightweight jacket for that. And then, this is kind of a funny thing. You guys know how I have my, my work pants that I get at Goodwill? You've asked a lot about them. Well, here, here is something that I'm going to use this fall. He has all of these great cargo shorts. <laughs> Stuart is so laughing at me. But these great cargo shorts with these pockets. And like I say, these fit me pretty well. So I will press these, maybe style these with a really cute flannel shirt for working in the garden this fall. Or I can go hiking in them. I think they'll be great. So there was this pair and this pair. And these are probably, let me see. Okay, these are waist 30, which is a little bit big for me. But nevertheless, they have shrunk some. I'll try to shrink them a little bit more and I'll cinch them with a tight belt. But these are great for working out in the garden, you guys, and style them with some really fun outdoor boots. That will be fun. And then he also had a great pair of American Eagle cargo pants that I think I'll do the same thing to. I just think these are so fun. They're very comfortable. They remind me of Johnny. They're eminently practical. They're good heavyweight for working out in the garden with lots of pockets. And, you know, it's just part of my reuse, recycle, repurpose. And it's if it's from a loved one that helps you uh, feel closer to that loved one, then I think it's it's really a wonderful thing. So those are some of my thrift store finds today. Um, some of you will say, well, that's not related to gardening, but it kind of is to me. So there you go. There are my thrift store finds um, from both the Goodwill store and also from my son's closet. So if you've held on this long for my fashion epilogue today, I welcome you. If not, just move on to the next video. So my coffee cup today, I wanna to point out to you because it was, it's sold by my friend Jan. She is an artist here in Oklahoma and one of the people that through Instagram has become very, very dear to me. We have been friends for a long time. She's at Hungry Holler if you want to follow her. By far the wittiest person on Instagram, I think. She's absolutely exceptional and she just lost her mama recently. So I want you guys to send her some love. She is just a really dear special person. Um, let's see, my earrings. My earrings, these I got fairly recently recently because I was putting together an outfit for one of the events at my son Jamie's wedding in Colorado and I got these at Target. They're real stone earrings and I love them. I could have bought practically everything in this collection there. Um, my, let's see, my shirt. I'm, I can't remember where I got this shirt. It might have been Ann Taylor. Um, it was someplace at the mall. I can't remember exactly, but it's a linen shirt and any kind of loose white linen shirts I really, really like. Now let me show you a little trick. So I have really broad shoulders and you know how sometimes you have a gap in your shirt and you're exposing maybe a little bit more than you want to expose. Well, here's a brilliant way to close them if the post is thin enough. So I got these sweet, sweet, tiny little acorn earrings from my sister. And this blouse has a tendency to kind of come open. So what I can do is I can use this. Stuart is afraid to get too close. Probably that's a good idea, Stuart. Hopefully I just didn't cover up my mic when I did that. But anyhow, it then serves as a cute little closure. I could have done that much more effectively if I was doing it in front of a mirror and without an audience. But it's a great little sweet enclosure to use it as a mini brooch. And it puts to use um, one of the earrings of a pair of pierced earrings if you have lost the mate, then you don't have to discard the other one. So that's, that's something that I do quite often. Uh, my watch, yes, I still am old fashioned enough that I like to wear watches. And I actually still glance down at mine. In fact, I have a number of watches and I take them in batches to the mall and there's a place there that can change out 
all of the batteries and things. Um, and they just, they make me feel, I guess, secure. I usually have either on my iWatch or I've got one of these on. Um, my ring came from Madewell. And I'm going to take it off because it's a little bit uncomfortable to me today. I think I had Chinese food last night, Stuart, so I'm, I'm a little bit swollen today. So I think I'm going to take that off. Um, my bracelets. I am going to do, I'm, I'm working on an affiliate program with Orchard Jewelry. Some of you may know Janet, Ma Janet Mavic. She is just a brilliant artist who creates jewelry that's all nature inspired. I have so many pieces of hers. I've got this little bird bracelet. I've got a pair of green bean earrings. I saw those in Martha Stewart magazine. Um, I've got a couple of necklaces and I'll show you all of the pieces I have from her as I'm composing my Christmas gift list because definitely she will be on it and I think I'll have a coupon code my bracelet I love wood bangle bracelets and I have several and you can get these a lot of different places I don't remember I've had this one forever um, my belt I believe I also got at Target my jeans my britches are from Madewell a couple years ago I did a collaboration with them in their store it was really really fun my sandals I got also at Target and they're really nice because they bridge the season pretty well I think between between summer and fall so that you guys is my outfit du jour <laughs>